What's up guys, welcome back to JSIC Poker. Now hit that like and subscribe button for daily PLO content. And today I'm gonna to do a hand review of a couple of hands from the Best Bet Live 510 PLO game. And that's the first hand. Uh, the first hand that starts is with Alice on the button, raising to 125. Toxic answer. Yeah. Tano says, I'd love to see Marble Allen play some Omaha. <laughs> That'd be a sight to see. Yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah, I like it, you know, um, especially over three limpers because you have a high connected pair with the suit, so there's a lot going on with it. You can hit a 10 for a set or a uh, hidden straight, uh, but everyone calls and we go to a flop. All right, looks like we got four players to this flop. Eight, six, ace flop. Rainbow, looking for the seven, nine jack combo like Tim has, yep. 7 9 10 rather, but 7 9 still good. Alice has uh, 10 9. A little bit of blockers is all. She's gonna fire it. She's technically. Yeah, so the flop comes a 6 8 rainbow. Everyone checks to Alice and she bets $200 into 525. I don't like it because if she had pocket aces. Uh, she should be potting here, or at least betting bigger, to protect her hand against wraps. Uh, but yeah, let's see what Tim does with his straight draw. I'm assuming he's not going to fold. He's going to give it up. Whatever he's got a call here. All right, looks like Tim is going to call. Has an open ender. Smashes the 10, and now Tim has a straight, but Alice has uh, middle set now. It's kind of a gross. Wow, that is a huge turn. Uh, turn is a 10 of spades. It gives Tim T the nuts, and Alice is set with an open-ended straight draw. So a massive cooler here. And if I'm Alice, I like potting here to protect against straight draws and backdoor flush draws. And hands like ace, queen, jack, five, ace, king, jack, x, backdoor spades, uh, four, five, seven, eight. So you can charge that full amount. If I was Tim, I would strongly think about leading pot because Alice can possibly check back sets here since the straight got there. Uh, but let's see what she does. Card to come out. It's gonna check spades are uh, backdoor spades are there as well. Gonna be interested to see what Alice does. Says let's get it in. Wow. Yeah, so she pots, Tim snap jams, and Alice, look, she is totally unhappy. She knows he's got the nuts, uh, but she's got a 32% chance to win, which is actually really good. Times, big pot here, guys, 4K pot. But she's got to get a little lucky. Last one's a board to pair. First one's going to go to Still Tim. Home. The second one is going to, wow, go to Tim as well. Ooh, scoop and massive wow. cooler. Unlucky for Alice. She, um... She loses, but Tim T wins a $3,995 pot at 510. Guys, that is 400 big blinds. That's a massive pot. Let's see if she reloads. Yeah, she's automatically reloading. If you guys don't know, that's a Hunter Cici's wife, I believe. And she's a professional poker player, so she's a good player. Now, on to the next hand. Ronan, you'll appreciate this. I got a text. So, we start the hand with six players after Todd opens to $30 and everyone calls. Um, I love it. I love it. You guys are watching my streams. See, there's like six people in a hand every every time. That doesn't happen in, in Hold'em, right? Yeah, so Tim T flops top set um, right here, if you guys can't see. And JW is here to gamble. He leads for $200 with nothing but a wrap, which isn't optimal because you can be dominated by higher wraps with pair versus pairs like 5, 7, 8, 9, 6, 7, 8, 9, queen, 5, 7, 8. Let's see what Todd does. RJ makes a 
discipline fold. Yeah, Todd calls. Uh, I'm not sure what he's doing in there because he's really open, only hoping to hit a king and anything else is going to get him into trouble. Like a six, if someone has pocket queens, he's screwed a ten. A backdoor heart draw might get him in trouble. Um, but now 10 T is in, in another dream spot here. All right, looks like we got a 200 bet and Tim is going to pop it. Yeah, going to pot it with a queen queen, eight six. Yeah, and he does pot it. Top set here, JW. Uh, has a JW is board. there to yep. gamble, it's wow. not going they anywhere. <laughs> Three, four. Guys, I don't like calling here because you're not going to be able to realize your equity because you're going to be forced to fold a lot of turns. You know, but but he's here to gamble and snap calls, and now we go to a turn, baby. Seven, eight, nine. Got a juicy pot brewing. Make some all straights. You gotta love it if you're Tim T with top set here. Deuce, three, four, seven, eight, nine. It's a big hand to go up against. Wow. Turn brings a ten of diamonds, so backdoor diamonds gets there, which makes JW's hand even worse now because now he can possibly lose to diamonds. But he checks ten T pots, and JW calls it off. Even though he was, oh my gosh, he calls it off. Gonna skip the first one, and it's gonna be a straight. We're gonna chop it. Wow. Wow, e even though he was 40% in this specific situation, many times he's going to be behind by much more and, and possibly dominated by value hands plus straight draws or gut shots. You know, hands like queen, queen, eight, nine, queen, seven, four, eight, uh, five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Um, <laughs> but they run it twice, and the first run out gives Tim T a quads, and the second gives JW the straight, so they end up chopping a massive $7,820 pot. If Tim T would have won that, he would be up heaps by now because uh, he doubled up earlier versus um, <laughs> Hunter CG's wife over there. All right, so if you guys like this video, hit the like and subscribe button for daily PLO content. I'm going to do more hand reviews uh, in the future. Peace out, guys.